In this video we will do a little history of Nemesis, the star of death. Dispelling doubts about our son's twin sister. Nemesis, for the Greeks, was a daughter of Zeus who personified justice, rewarding or punishing humans for the actions they performed. In the Roman Empire she became an important deity, the goddess of revenge. Nowadays, it is an ethical concept representing our, dark, as opposed to natural, personality. In 1980, researchers demonstrated the possibility that the Sun had a companion star, which would make the solar system a binary star system. This star was named Nemesis, the Death Star. Every 26 million years a mass extinction of species occurs on Earth and, if this periodicity is established, the implication is that the causes of extinctions are hardly, purely biological and outer space must play a leading role. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Analyzing the geological records of extinctions in marine environments, paleontologists confirm the hypothesis that the extinctions were not isolated phenomena, but periodic events that would act on planet Earth. Nemesis would be a small, dark brown dwarf star with an orbital period, hundreds of times that of Pluto, taking 26 million years to complete one revolution around the Sunday since 1984, different groups of astronomers have been searching for the location of the star Nemesis. It has always been well known that the Sun, an ordinary star, does not form a binary system, since most similar stars belong to such systems. This fact further fueled the search for Nemesis which, lately is carried out through the large infrared telescopes and the telescopes on board satellites, more prepared for the detection of small, cold and hidden stars. For many decades the enigma of mass extinctions has intrigued several generations of scientists and laymen alike, because some phenomenon periodically devastated the Earth's geological past wiping out in a relatively short period of time most of the existing fauna and flora. A few years ago, astrophysicists, paleontologists and geologists felt forced to resort to a hypothesis of a spatial nature to try to unravel the mystery, and the model of the binary solar system was the subject of in-depth studies. This model was considered plausible and capable of explaining the periodicity of mass extinction processes present in the geological records. The model postulates that the Sun would have a companion star, which would complete its orbit around the system's center of mass in a period of 26 million years. Possessing a very eccentric orbit, at aphelion, in which the distance from the Sun is the maximum reached, the star would be about two light years from the Sunday at perihelion, or closest point to the Sun. This star, called Nemesis, would disturb the denser areas of the Oort cloud that surrounds our planetary system. This gravitational interference would displace stationary comets from Oort, bringing them towards the inner solar system, a region generally kept safe thanks to the protective gravitational influence of Jupiter and Saturn. During this influx of comets, hundreds are estimated to hit Earth, dinosaurs must have suffered several of these impacts until they were struck down by the Chicxulub comet, which crashed into the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico in the late Cretaceous period. A feature of the comet shower is that species on Earth do not perish immediately and simultaneously. Some would be annihilated by a first impact, but others would be spared to be extinguished by the next impact, centuries later. Paleontologists claim that the extinctions of life on the planet would not have been total and immediate, but distributed over hundreds of thousands of years a theory that is not at odds with the model of extinction due to impacts of large space objects. In this comet shower there would be approximately 10 major impacts, with an average interval between them of 100,000 years. The main biological implication would be that evolutionary processes based on competition between species would only take place in periods of relative calm. But every 26 million years, the comet shower mechanism would cause disasters of planetary proportions over hundreds of thousands of years and, by the end of this period, most species would have become extinct. This dynamic of, destruction avoided the stagnation of the evolutionary process, 
through the periodic extermination of dominant species or those that were less flexible and adaptable, resulting in the consequent opening of previously occupied ecological niches. Without catastrophes of this nature, dinosaurs would probably not have gone extinct and man would not have existed. Nemesis will most likely be a red dwarf, star. Its radial velocity and proper motion are virtually null, as it has never been identified by programs for detecting nearby stars. There is a research group developing work to try to detect the sun's companion among the red dwarfs in the solar neighborhood. If not found among red dwarfs, it must be assumed that it could be a brown dwarf, a very dimly lit star, emitting light almost, exclusively in the infrared spectrum. Scientists observed that several comets showed strong deviations from their calculated and predicted orbits. According to them, this would be caused by the gravitational pull of an object several times larger than Jupiter and hidden inside the solar system. At the time, they published an article proposing that only the presence of a massive object inside the O Oort cloud could explain the anomalies observed in the path of comets coming from that location. According to scientists, due to the very faint brightness and the very low temperature, the existence of this object can only be proven through images in the infrared spectrum generated by the WISE space telescope. In 2003, the discovery of the dwarf planet called Sedna made the hypothesis of the existence of Nemesis gain momentum. Scientists have found that this planet is where it shouldn't be and there's no way to explain its singular orbit. Sedna is never close enough to be affected by the Sun, but also never far enough away to be influenced by other stars. Thus, there needs to be a large space object serving as a gravitational attractor to explain Sedna's orbit. Adding to this the fact, that this celestial body still remains hidden, the hypothesis of the existence of Nemesis, which would have several Jupiterian masses, was a strong candidate as the attractor of Sedna. The WISE Space Telescope, launched in 2009 with the aim of mapping the sky in the infrared spectrum, has already made numerous discoveries of celestial objects, among them hundreds of comets, during the mission. The telescope produced no less than 2 million images that are now being studied in detail. If the hypothesis of the existence of Nemesis is correct, the Sun will no longer be a lone star. Currently the Sun is crossing the galactic plane and we are right between two periods of mass extinction. A rival hypothesis to the model of the companion star of the Sun which advocates that the mechanism of mass, extinctions would be triggered by the passage of the solar system through the galactic plane, but it was discarded when it was found that these passages did not coincide with the periodicity of extinctions in the past. From the Earth. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and activate notifications, to receive new videos.